touch this, ayy Bitch, I do rich shit, huh My money thick, ayy, ayy Walk with a limp, limp, huh I'm on some pimp shit, ayy He say you all about money, yeah I'm on that cash shit, huh I'm in my bag, bitch, huh I'm on your ass, bitch, huh I'm in that new What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Angel Denise, back with another video! Y'all, I'm just so happy because I hit a thousand subscribers and that meant so much to me. Like, <laughs> I didn't think that people would really watch my YouTube videos. I did not think I would get far on YouTube. It's just, it's crazy. And it's like, I've only done YouTube. I started in January. So it's been a whole year since I've actually started YouTube. It's crazy. Oh my God. That is so crazy. Thank you to everybody that supports me and watch my videos. Oh my God. But as you guys can see, um, today I'm following up on my video that actually helped me get to a thousand subscribers. Um, back in January, I did a video about me being physically abused by my dad. So I'm following up telling you guys where does our relationship stand as far as today, what's happened since then. And I'm going to talk about his mother as well. So please like comment subscribe and hit that bell so you will be notified every time i post and let's get into the video okay so i got a lot of questions regarding that video like where was my mom that's like the most highly asked question from that video by far um i i got questions as far as why the cops weren't called um i'm just gonna be addressing that too all in this video it's gonna be everything all together it's been years since the incident happened, so I'm not sure actually why no one reported it, why my aunt didn't report it. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I really, like I said, I really wish I can go back in time and just call the cops still. I should have called them the next day or something. I don't know. It's like they just kind of swept it under the rug like it was nothing. I don't really like that and it really does upset me to this day still that he has not had any consequences or any real consequences than just not having me around he hasn't been res held responsible for any of his actions i really wish that i could go back and change that now the question as far as where was my mom when this happened um a lot of you don't remember but if you were like one of my subscribers when i had like 30 subscribers uh one of my first youtube videos was a uh, explanation on why i didn't grow up normal i stated that i didn't grow up normal in my video about my dad uh i don't live with my mom i live with my aunt and y'all heard me a lot express that I uh, missed my grandmother so much. I missed my grandmother a lot because she passed away when I was seven. That's who was my actual caretaker. My mom has mental health issues, so I don't live with her. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that's all I'm going to say as far as why I don't live with my mom. I'm not going to go into detail on exactly what, what mental health issues she suffered from, but that's why I don't live with her. We're going to keep it at that. That's like one of the reasons why I popped off on him when he started calling her crazy. You don't call someone crazy who is suffering from mental health issues. And you knew she had mental health issues when you first said it. So, he, when he met my mom, he knew she had mental health issues. When he was with my mom, he knew that she had mental health issues. When my mom had me, he knew that she had mental health issues. So, you do not call someone crazy and then regret having a child with that person and you're blaming her for having me but you're a part of it as well okay so now i'm gonna address the actual um relationship today that i have with my dad and his mother uh my grandmother whatever whatever y'all want to call her i don't call them anything like i say his name is joe and her name is benny those are just who they are so i'm gonna tell you guys a few incidents that happened um when i did start going back over there i told you guys i waited like a month to go over there my aunt waited a month to go for me to go back over there and when i did start to go over there again she told me just don't even say nothing to him because he's gonna be there and just don't say nothing to him because she don't want nothing to happen again 
yeah so um when i went over there i remember <laughs> this man is so well he's not even a man this boy is so freaking childish like <laughs> he literally bought like a whole thing of Mac mcdonald's like breakfast just a whole bunch of unnecessary stuff he did this on purpose and in the house it's only me her and him my uncle moved out so he's not there anymore um so i remember we were getting ready for church and he had that all that food so i'm just sitting down in that same chair that i was sitting in that he told me to get up from i was sitting in that same chair and um I hear her whispering to him, or she's at least trying to whisper. I hear very, very well. Like I said, the dining room and the sitting area were not that far from each other. It was literally connected right there. She's right there. Um, She's like, you're not going to give Andrew none? He was like, no. And in that moment, I just wanted to get up and go over there and be like, you are very childish. Like... You bought this food on purpose just so you, you wouldn't share with me. First of all, I don't even want the food, for one. You need to stop eating McDonald's because you're already big. No disrespect to big people, but you already big. It is just like, you are very childish. Like, I've never met such a grown-ass childish person before. How you that grown and you childish? Okay, y'all, so there was this one time I remember where I was over there and she uh wanted him to like apologize to me and i'm laughing when i say this but it's seriously not even funny it's just looking back it's just like anyways so um she had him apologize to me and he came i remember i was sitting in that same chair he came and sat down and she was telling him like I heard them talking a little bit, but I had my headphones in on my phone. I wasn't kind of paying no attention to him. Um, he came and sat down. I got my headphones in, and he was like, um, Angel, can we talk? And I'm like, no. We have nothing to talk about. Uh, this was around, like, Christmas time. It was December-ish, and I remember because she was in the hospital. She ended up having cancer, and she got sick. And I guess she was like severely sick to where it was like she was close to dying or something. And I had not known about it because no one said anything. Like he never told my aunt and my aunt never told me. So it's just like it was lack of communication, which is childish. But anyways, uh, yeah, he's telling me how she was in a hospital and her one of her dying wishes was for us to reunite. And... I'm just like Oh my god what? No I'm just sitting there listening to him Like I'm not talking to him I'm not even facing him He's facing this way My back is turned I don't want to hear nothing you have to say Because everything that comes out of your mouth is a lie So he was like Oh I just remember sitting in the hospital And I'm like oh my god Angel should be here If I should have been there Why didn't you call me he knows my aunt's phone number like my aunt's phone number has not changed since i've moved with her and i've been living with her since i was seven so literally um it was just all bs coming out of his mouth and so he finished he's like i'm really sorry for what happened and i was just so irritated because i knew it wasn't genuine and i remember when he got up I went to I went upstairs to the bathroom and the bathroom it's like their, their house is so old the bathroom sits on top of the kitchen so literally I can hear <laughs> I can hear everything that they're saying downstairs while he's in the kitchen talking to her he was like um he goes in there he's like I talked to her and then she was like did you tell her what I said and he was like yeah did you tell her what I said? Meaning that none of that you just said to me came from your heart. It came from her mouth. Meaning you didn't mean anything you just said. So I called my aunt because I was so frustrated. Like, I was irritated to the point where I was crying because it's just like, 
why can't you man up and be genuinely sorry for what you have done to me and for making me feel the way that you do like i don't understand it's just so not genuine it's never been genuine um there was also another incident for i think my 15th or 16th birthday um he gave me some money a hundred dollars a hundred dollars is not gonna cover all those years that you have not bought me anything um have not came to any of my 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 eighth grade promotion you wasn't there anything you know it doesn't a hundred dollars doesn't make up for shit okay it does not i'm gonna be real it don't make up for nothing um there was a uh, another incident where he i guess had a girlfriend and i was also in ninth grade uh this is around the time where i just like started getting close to my sister really and i was over at my sister's house and she came to my sister's house his mother came to my sister's house to come get me saying that she got a surprise for me i just already knew it was gonna be something annoying i knew it wasn't gonna have nothing to do with me because nothing over there is for me so i get there and it's just this lady sitting on the couch and i'm just gonna i right off the bat assumed that it was the girlfriend and she was just trying to talk to me and i'm guessing that he has not told this lady that i don't talk to him he has not told this lady nothing of what happened between us and he's trying to make it seem like it's everything is all peachy fine like we have this great father-daughter relationship when we don't like we do not talk sir what are you doing i'm mad because i'm sitting there wasting my time which is time i could have been spending with my sister and spending with my niece that irritated me so bad the lady trying to talk to me and uh, nah, 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 nah. i'm like no i'm just sitting there looking annoyed and he come in there and he's trying to talk to me and i'm just looking at him crazy i'm not responding to nothing that he's saying because you trying to put on this picture and paint this picture that everybody that we are just talking and we're father daughter and we're not stop like when do the lies ever just stop why don't you take responsibility for what you've done he went around telling his friends and everything that i ignore him that i don't talk to him i remember one particular time i was walking in the house and he was having some type of barbecue with his friends and they were like joe is that your daughter and i'm like no i'm not his daughter i walked in the house after that um those were years back that was back in ninth grade i graduated high school now speaking of my graduation um for some particular reason I don't know why, but my aunt invited his mother to come. I did not invite her. I I straight up said, I'm like, why is she coming? She wasn't here for none of my high school. She was like, oh, well, you know, she's, um, you're, you're the only grandchild that she has. I'm not going to take that away from her. But do you realize how much they took away from me when that incident went down? When all that that occurred happened? In case y'all were wondering, me and my aunt don't have the best relationship. It's pretty rocky. It's like I've had many incidents that happened with her. Like, I was kicked out when I turned 17. If you all want a story time on that, I can definitely do a story time. Um, yeah, and it's like, you guys know graduation. It's, it was very important for me. I was valedictorian. So, I just feel like I only want the people who were there for me throughout my whole years of school i really want only those people there for me which was my sisters mostly my sisters i mean she my aunt really wasn't there for me for my schooling to me she wasn't um i i just felt so annoyed because it's my day and i can't even enjoy it the way i want to enjoy it so um yeah she came to my graduation and I remember at the end, after I finished walking the stage, after the ceremony is over and everyone wants to take pictures together and stuff, I'm going over to my sisters. They're all crying. I'm crying. And they were so happy. And then my aunt walks over with his mother. And I was just looking at her. I'm just looking at her like, what are you doing here? And she was trying to hug me and I would not hug her back. Like, I, I don't care. I just feel like I was robbed of so much of a normal lifestyle and I feel like for her to be at my graduation it just was not right she did not deserve to be there not only that but she also was going around telling people that I hit on them that I beat them and it's just like 
I'm 12 years old at the time when this incident happened. How can I possibly beat up a grown man and an old lady? I'm not even a violent person. I don't like putting my hands on people, but I will if I have to. And I never even touched her. That's what's, that's what's crazy about it. I never touched her. There was an incident where she tried to, um, <laughs> she tried to hit me over something that I felt was just so childish. It was so petty. She was mad over a game of Uno at church because the other, the other lady won. And I was just like, cause I was looking at her like she was crazy when that happened. And, um, she called herself trying to throw a remote at me, smack me with a remote. And yes, I did kick her. I caught, I had, I kicked her because what are you hitting me with a remote for? Because you're mad over a game. That's, that's just like, I don't know what's wrong with these people. I, I just really don't know. Um, for my prom, uh, he gave me, I think around $300 for my prom because my aunt made him. Um, I never told him thank you because $300, what is that? I really feel like I should take him to court for all of the back child support that he has not paid. Um, plus, I'm a college student, and it's like, I mean, I don't have a job. I'm not working, so it's just like, I feel like he owes me at least the money that I was supposed to get as a child. I don't know. I will look more into it, but it's just like I feel like I'm owed so much more than the little amounts of money that he's given me. Before he gave me that three hundred dollars, he only gave me that hundred dollars when I was a kid, when I was when I turned fifteen, sixteen. So I'm not even. I'm I'm just done with them. But yes, this is all for me um, updating y'all on our relationship. I don't talk to them. I don't reach out to them. It's no no point for me to talk to them. I have no intentions on talking to them. I just, I feel like I'm doing good in life. I feel like I don't need them. And I really don't want them here. Because if it's not genuine, you, you're not going to be around me. If you're not going to apologize for what really happened, you're not going to be around me. And if you're not going to take responsibility for your actions, you are not going to be around me. But that's all for this video. Thank you all for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. Post notifications. I need that turned on so y'all get notified every time I post. Um, please, if you are someone that was in a situation similar to mine, um, don't be afraid to tell someone at school or someone you feel comfortable talking with. It could be your favorite teacher. It can be a tutor. It can be anybody, anything. Do not wait years to finally say something. No matter if anyone believes you or not, I feel like it's best to talk to somebody about it at least. And then you never know what will happen from there. Because I seriously wish I can go back and get justice for what happened to me. But it's been years since that happened. I don't, I don't think they would even let that let that happen the most i can do is get a restraining order but yes thank you all for watching i am out